the industry, you know, wicked industry, you know, uh, it's very wicked, you know. And I know yesterday you probably felt a certain way about the way I communicated, but I'm very unapologetic about the way I communicated because I know what I said was right. Maybe you didn't like the way I said it, but I know what I said was right. And I want to tell you why, you know, if the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God can use me aggressively. I want you to also know you may not like my delivery. You might say, well, listen here, why did you say it that way? I cannot speak to people outside of the church the way I speak to people inside the church. I got to know my audience. Isn't that what you would say if you're talking to a people? The first thing you got to know is your audience. And I also want you to know that the thing that's really stirring up so much confusion is because for years, these guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. So every time I say something, you're just seeing my part because their part is behind the scene. But I want you to know I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'm anointed for it. I'm anointed to dethrone evil. I want you to know that. <laughs> so don't be worried for me. If anything, pray for me. Pray for the things that you don't understand because I know there's a big misunderstanding between you. The first thing that comes to my mind is about how in Proverbs 18 and 17, the Bible talks about how you can hear one side and it seems right until you hear the other side, until it's cross-referenced. You don't know that so much of the truth has been missing from what you've been informed about. The second thing I want to talk to you about is the story about Isaiah 40. What is that? Isaiah 54 and 17, where the Bible talks about in Isaiah that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So if you see me being aggressive, it's because I know no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But isn't it sad that that's the only part of that scripture people understand? The very next statement in that scripture, and it is loaded with content, it's loaded with revelation, but the very next part of that scripture says, and if any man any man, any man, or any tongue rise up against you, you shall refute it. And that's what I did. He said something and I refuted it. I pulled it down because I knew it wasn't the truth. And I dealt with him as aggressively as he has chosen to deal with me. Another thing I want to tell you, the third but not last thing, think about this. I went through every step on how to deal with him. Every step on how to deal with Puff biblically. I dealt with them biblically. That's why I felt aggressive about it. I felt like I did not have to change my strong approach because number one, I went to him as a brother when things were not right. Secondly, I went to him with a witness that was Rodney Jerkins. Like the Bible says, if you don't get it right with him, go back to him with a witness. I did that. The third thing it tells us to do is go to the church. Bring it before the elders. I reached out to his bishop. His bishop declined to mediate the situation. So I just went to step number four, which is mark him as a publican and have nothing to do with him. And that's what I did lyrically. And that's what you guys have a problem with. So I don't know if it's me or you got a problem with the Bible, because all I did was handle it the way you're supposed to handle it. And I'm up for all the smoke he has to bring. Puff can't beat me at anything, anything. And he knows that, and I'm up for the challenge. And until I see you again, just know, I may do a lot of things you don't agree with. Pray for me like I will pray for you, instead of letting your voice be used against something that could be a phenomenal change for our culture. We don't need no more leaders like that. We need, we need new gatekeepers. If there's ever been a company, just think of this, that handled those people that way for 20 straight years, you wouldn't keep them in leadership. So why should we keep these same gatekeepers who have done nothing but exploited us and used our talents against us for their own gain and their children? Until then, I'm signing off. This is Mace. This is Mace and Betha. However you know me, this is how you know me. God bless you, and I hope you was able to hear my heart. Until then, I love you. Many people's lives, whether it was James Jones. By the way, James Jones 
my dad prophesied on James Jones for our first meeting and told him he was going to be a pastor. And I was kicking my dad under the desk and <laughs> telling him to shut up. And, and James Jones laughed at my dad. And sure enough, like five years later, James Jones became a pastor in Atlanta. Wow. Uh, and then, you know, me and my father praying for Michael Jackson, you know, uh, Whitney Houston singing at my dad's church, uh, me praying with Mary J. Blige, and Mace getting saved through me witnessing to him. Wow. So like so many, so many, so many moments and so many sessions that I've literally, some people, you know, um, well, when, the, when the Chris Brown and Rihanna thing happened, you know, I was sent to Orlando to kind of be somewhat like a, like a life coach to Chris. Wow. You know what I mean? And, and when Justin Bieber was, had his little moments, I was sent to go on tour with Justin to try to help him out. So like people in the industry kind of call on me because they know that character about me, which is, which is great. You know what I mean? That's why I always say like, um, um, the, the ministry, the industry has somewhat become like my ministry in a sense, right? Just like, you know, without even trying, it's just like people know our character and know what we stand on. So I get those calls a lot, like, hey man, so-and-so needs needs someone and we thought about you, can you come pray with them or da 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 And I've also made it very um, um, intentional to be bold in my faith and not worry about what people think about, you know, whether they, oh, that's corny, or if they don't believe, like, I don't care. Like, it's just like, okay, this is what I stand on. This is more what I believe in. You, you could you could work with me or not, but I'm just letting you know this is what it is.